and welcome to today's gold market update and it is the 2nd of december welcome to friday it's mike smith senior analyst at gold markets here with your look around the markets today of course overnight we had a choppy mix session on wall street pairing early losses and the nasdaq was the slight outperformer closing in positive territory the pce data which is one of the key inflation measures that the Fed looks at did come in softer than expected. That certainly helped. But perhaps a little bit of caution with that non-farm payrolls number coming out tonight. We're looking for a gold deluxe number, i.e. not too hot, which is going to encourage the Fed to be aggressive and not too cold, suggesting that we're not in an economic fallout. China COVID news is still a headline item, of course. And there may be some alteration in policy that's come across the wires pretty soon, we think. U.S. futures are slightly lower in early Asian action because of that caution before the data comes out. Asian indices are following that cautious U.S. lead with the ASX down around 0.5%. Materials are outperforming again. European equity futures are suggesting a positively cautious open later. We're seeing the U.S. dollar index continue its demise. It drops again and it's now near in four month lows. It's weaker again in Asia. And because of that, of course, gold pushed higher to test the key 1800 level which again is its high for four months. All was choppy but near neutral and copper again was pausing just beneath that 200 EMA around about the 380 level and the VIX moved back down to three month lows as it was in the early part of the week. A Bitcoin paused yesterday at three week highs without much movement, without much further buying pressure after it looked a couple of days ago as so though we might see some buying action coming into it. And on top of the China COVID situation and the non-farm perils. We are expecting the RBA Governor Lowe to have a speech later on today. It might be interesting to see if there's anything there that indicates future RBA policy. We've also got Eurozone PPI and German trade balance also worthy of note. A couple of charts that caught our interest today. Uh, we'll start with the US Yen on the daily chart and again absolutely smashed with Yen strength, US dollar weakness. Again, the end once one of the stronger currencies throughout yesterday. You can see it there. Now trading back to the 200 EMA. It hasn't hit this level since August. Pretty neutral today on this particular pair. But a breach of that 135 level will be critical. It's likely to precipitate some more selling if it happens. On the ASX, we are looking at Block Inc. Ticket code SQ2. Uh, this is was after pay before takeover and you can see there it's trading back up towards this key level just around the hundred dollar mark we're looking for it to breach 101.31 as a resistance and if it does that then certainly a move up towards this level around 108 so a gain of around eight percent could be on the cards in the short term slightly off the highs today but we'll see how it closes towards the back end of the session one to consider for certain and finally it is friday of course so just watch for a little repositioning but of course that non-farm payrolls number tonight is going to be the major market determinant as to what happened next trade safe and we'll see you again soon bye bye for now